Uh, but right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to get on my, for tonight only, low horse. <laughs> We could have stayed on the wide shot a bit longer. Oh dear, they've really made it easy for me tonight, haven't they? Oh, hello. <laughs> Howdy, partners. All right. Howdy. Okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, Nurofen for children, pain and fever relief. Now, I'm uh, all for children's pain and fever relief. If anybody's pain and fever deserves relieving, it's children's. But have a look at this. Nurofen for children, keep out of reach of children. <laughs> Make up your freaking mind. Either you want to relieve children's pain and fever, or you don't. And until you do, our children are doomed to have that which they most desire forever placed just beyond their grasp, or in some cases on a very high shelf if the medicine cabinet can't be locked. I mean, you, can't, you, you don't see a can of Lynx deodorant from men with the warning, keep out of reach of men, do you? <laughs> or if you do, send it to us. We'll use it next week. Products which insist on inaccessibility to the person using them, into the bin! <laughs> Very much. Ant farms. It's a fact that only three in every 100 will survive bankruptcy in their first year. And yet the nation's ant farmers have only themselves to blame. They get into the ant game with little or no experience in the finer points of ant husbandry. Oh, sure. It's a romantic notion, escaping the rat race to your own piece of land, raising a couple of dozen head of ant, and then sitting on the porch watching them dig tunnels for you, hear them singing them ant work songs. But it's, it's goddamn hard life. You forget to feed them a couple of days and they die. And the banks move in. And it's not just ant farms. Don't get me started on sewage farms. <laughs> Certainly don't recommend you go around there come harvest time. <laughs> Into the bin! Okay. Men without hats. No, no, no! You're too eager, amigos. But curb your whip lust, I say, unto you. Men Without Hats, they had a hit back in the 80s with the safety dance. Or, if you're not from Adelaide, the safety dance. <laughs> Listen to this. We can go if we want to, night is young and so am I. And we can dress real neat, but my hands do a big and surprise them with a big trick eye. We can dress real neat from our hats to our feet. Now, they call themselves men without hats. They claim neatness partly on the basis of their hats, which, by definition, they are without. And why should we be compelled to don headwear with these, while these pop synth knobs advising us to, to get out as they flounce about singing jaunty songs with their skulls naked of uh, cranial accoutrement? That's easy for me to say. Men without hats, probably in the employ of the millinery business. Anyway which would be both lucrative and ironic. But for now, into the bin! Yay! Oh, it's the right way up. <laughs> Perisher blue. OK, now, if you're, you're going to set up a resort in the mountains where there's snow and freezing temperatures, you might want to avoid including the word perish in your name. <laughs> or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe a reference to dying of exposure is attractive to holidaymakers. <laughs> Either way, into the bin!